Hello everyone. Welcome again to our power series. And today we're going to discuss our power strategy four, which is uh, Bollinger Band. If you want to know more about us, what we do, please visit our website at www.trrtfa.com and then you can find more about us. So let's continue for our power strategy four, which is Bollinger Bands. Bollinger Bands basically developed by John Bollinger. And uh, I have the I had the privilege actually to meet him personally in uh, an event in the United States where I have got an opportunity to talk to him and also get the, his insight about this strategy. And we discussed a lot of things about uh, the normal trading processes. So keep aside, let's go on to this Bollinger Band first. Basically, uh, Bollinger Bands are the volatility bands which are placed above and below a moving average. In most of the cases, 20 period moving average. And those volatility bands and the calculation of the volatility, it's based on the standard deviation. In some programs, it's one standard deviation. In some of the program, it's two standard deviation. These bands are actually automatically widened when there has been an increase in the volatility. And they also narrows down when volatility decreases. The Bollinger Bands has uh, standard settings, so they can be actually used for different securities at the same time. So let's see on to a terminal how this Bollinger band, band works. To analyze the Bollinger Band, I have selected Tata Steel. You can select any script you want. So to place Bollinger Bands on the Tata Steel daily charts, just right click, go to the study, add study, select the Bollinger Bands from the drop down menu here and keep the settings as it is. And here we are using the standard deviation of two and average period of 20 simple period moving average. You can use different settings, but uh, these settings have an optimal test we have done the back testing of it and it works pretty fine. So we click on apply and close. So here we have placed the Bollinger Bands on the daily chart of the Tata Steel. Now, actually how are we gonna use this Bollinger Bands? Basically, what we are gonna do as the price crosses this median 20 period moving average above we became long here at 409 and we remain still in the trade till it touches the upper band here and we book uh, at 438 approximately 20 points from here and from here we just do nothing and then we wait for the price to go below this 20 here we became short and we book our profit as it touches the lower band. Then we see the price is moving up, but we don't do anything. As soon as the price crosses above this median line, we became long here and we book our profit somewhere on the upper band. And that's how in this range, we don't do anything. It's in the sideways market scenario. And as soon as the price crosses uh, this line here, you see the Bollinger Band uh, contracts means there is a decrease in the volatility values. So we again wait here, we became short here and we book our profits on the lower brand. Here we became long here, book our profits at the lower target of the upper band of the Bollinger. Here we became short and book our profits at the lower target band. So, and accordingly long and short vice versa. Here, uh, the important thing for you to understand, not to be in any case 
trapped within the sideways markets like here or like here, you can have a very smooth trend from the lower band to the upper band for the long and from the upper band to the lower band for the short and then again from the lower band to the upper band for the long. Book your profit targets here because you see afterwards it's not uh, it's just the sideways market then you trade accordingly with the Bollinger Bands. So this is a very effective tool to work on the sideways market also because during the trending market the price can stay remains on the upper band or on a downtrend market on the lower side of the Bollinger Band. But if you are trading for an intraday or for the short swing or the long swing, then you can use the Bollinger Bands, the upper and the lower as per your trading style. And then you can make good profits in the sideways markets also. Here we are only considering for uh, the long term trades. That's why I propose you to look for the long opportunities from the median line above and the short opportunities from the median line below. But it depends upon trader's style, trader's mindset, how they're going to use the Bollinger Bands. And all the high prices are represented by the upper band and the lower prices are represented by the lower band. The middle band, this one, act as a simple moving average between the two other bands. When the bands are analyzed, it aids in... Uh, pattern recognition of some kind, as well as price actions comparison, which can be viewed simultaneously to other indicators in order to come to a conclusion to the movement of the market at that time. We strongly recommend not to rely on one particular set of uh, indicators or the oscillators. You should know the merits and the demerits of each one of them and use in combination like the Bollinger Bands with the RSI and the Bollinger Bands with the MACD, which actually gives you the confidence in your trade. And then that's how you increase or enhance the odds in your favor. If the stock price hits uh, the lower band, many traders usually buy and if price tend to stick on the middle average band, it's a sign to exit the market from the short side or from the long side. The use of uh, the Bollinger Bands varies widely amongst different style of traders. Some traders buy when the price touches the lower Bollinger Band and exit when price touches the moving average in the center of the bands. Other traders buy when price breaks above the upper Bollinger brand, like here, and sell when price falls below the lower Bollinger band here. When actually the band lies close together as here, a period of low volatility in that particular script is indicated and when they are far apart, as the case here, it indicates a high volatility price. When the bands have only a slight slope and lie approximately parallel to each other, like in this case here and here, it extends time. The price of a stock will found to oscillate up and down between the bands as through a channel. So the price go up, go down, go up, go down, go up, go down. It's form a channel pattern when both these bands are parallel in nature. Uh, let's see. When the stock price stays above the 20-day average, yet meets resistance from the upper band, the market tends to be bullish. The opposite is also true for a bearish market. Well, the price is below the moving average, like here, yet has support from the lower band. You see, it has got some support and it bounces. 
and it goes again again it causes support from the lower band and it bounces from there it is very important to realize that bollinger bands cannot predict whether the trend will be upward or downward but rather than only they represents the strength of a trend overall bollinger bands have been proven to be a very useful tool in technical analysis by predicting the strength of the trend as well as helping in determining the volatility of the market at that condition bollinger bands has given investor clues as to when to buy or to sell a particular stock for the highest possible profit so uh, dear friends uh, this is from my side about the introduction of the bollinger bands and how you're going to use it and trade accordingly but remember trade with your discipline with proper stop losses with all the proper rules that we have given to you and you will succeed in this arena of trading so i'll see you soon for our next power strategy webinar till the time have a good night and thank you very much bye